With five days left in office, Governor Matt Bevin is preparing to leave Frankfurt. Since he conceded, he's remained mostly quiet, but he's starting to break his silence with interviews this week. So the big question is, what's next for the outgoing governor? LAX 18's political reporter, Carolina Buchek, has the answer. Just want to be clear. Since he conceded, uh, Governor Matt change, Bevin stayed uh, relatively quiet. Uh, LX18 reached out several times to schedule an interview with him, but we haven't heard anything back. This week, however, the governor is doing interviews with some news groups. And during one with WDRB, he said he has very few regrets. I've never lived my life looking in the rearview mirror. I've lived my life that way inside and outside of the political world. Look out the windshield, keep your foot on the gas, your hands on the wheel, uh, and drive like crazy. And so this is what we've done, and some people can't handle it. For some, it's frustrating. That, of course, includes the teachers who protested at the Capitol against changes to their pension system. But the governor says he doesn't regret his attempts to make those changes. He only regrets not getting it done. If we don't structurally change it for future employees, the system will fail. And all of the promises and all of the lies is really what they are that anybody might want to put out there and all the sugar they want to put on them to make them sound palatable about how we can sustain what we have without making changes, it's untrue. Overall, Bevin says he's proud of the work his administration has done with Kentucky's economy, and he believes he's cleaned up corruption. But the big question is, what's next for him? They have a lot of books to catch up on, a lot of things I want to read. Uh, there's so many businesses I'd love to start or be involved in helping other people to start. There's so many ways to give back and serve people. I still have such a passion for kids in foster care. A 2020 Senate run, however, is not on his to-do list. Carolina Buchuk, LEX 18 News.